Alrighty guys, well, you may wonder, what does a welding channel have anything to do with a heater? Well, this thing has been driving me nuts. It's been making uh, an error code, an E1 error code. And so I have not been able to figure it out. I've had it for a while. And it's just off and on kind of thing, just a struggle. Let's start it up, doesn't work. Let's uh, reset something, doesn't work. So <clears throat> actually I saw a video here on YouTube, <laughs> funny enough, of how a person went around bypassing the circuitry in here for just making it run. And what he did was use a series of switches, three switches, fan, igniter, fuel pump. And it fired right up. Now, of course, there's uh, concerns with that, right? Because if the fan goes out, the fuel pump keeps going, it's going to keep pumping fuel, and you have a lot of diesel all over the uh, floor of your shop. So I understand the concerns. And in my situation here, I feel I will only be using it when I am in the shop. So it will be okay. It's not something that I leave unattended. So I'll be doing something very similar, and if this interests you guys, well, follow along. <laughs> so here we go. Hmm. Not sure what I did. Is it plugged in? Yes, yeah, plugged in. Well, no, I don't even want to start at all. Okay, let me look into that. Off a lot of wires. It goes to the uh, fuel pump, I believe. This goes to the solenoid. Okay, okay. Seems like I'm unplugging things just willy nilly, but uh, fortunately, they're all labeled. Now, I don't know how that makes any sense, because I'm not going to be using them anymore. So, we'll have to see. Boom, boom. What else, what else? Little optical sensor. Let me go get some more light. I'm struggling with light and being able to see. So, let me type. Got some weather that should be in the 20s, upper 20s this, by the end of this week. So, not too happy about that. You know, us Texans, uh, depending on part of, what part of the state you're in, <laughs> Texas is pretty big. You know, anything north of Dallas, of course, you get a lot of snow and cold. But anything south of Dallas, not so much. And so that is me, south of Dallas. Not so much. So... Okay, so I guess everything else stays here. Hmm? Yeah, I think I'll leave that there. Well, no, maybe not. I guess everything else looks like it could stay. Uh, I'll be using these guys as the solenoid, powering it on to open the solenoid so that it runs. The fan, I understand, is 110 volt. So that'll be good. Ta -da. Very nice, very nice. Unplug these wires. If you can. Just trying to be nice.
Okay, 120 volt. And this, I can't read it right now. I'm gonna actually see stuff with my phone because I can't read it anymore. Okay, good. 120 volt, that's good. Oh yeah, duh, it's got the ground. This. Yes. 120 volt. Next. So everything's just 120 volt, which is nice. What is it? Oh, this is the pump. So now I will wire up. What's this done here? I got a little bit more figuring out to do, but Oh, that's crazy. I wonder what this one to. Either way. Alrighty. Let me uh, get some things situated and I'll be back. Okay, so this is about as bare bones as I can get it now. <clears throat> now it'll be just a matter of hooking all these wires up um, to the switches. They're all 110 volts, so it should be pretty simple. A switch to the fan, a switch to this. This needs power, of course. And a switch to the solenoid valve and the pump. Not bad. So, here we go. All right, so here my box of parts. I got these here. It's a momentary switch. Momentary switch is for the igniter. And miscellaneous fittings. And I got two of these toggle switches. Uh, they work pretty good. Pretty industrial, I really like them. So one of these would be set up for the fans. The other one for the fuel pump. This guy for the fuel pump. And then this guy for the temporary igniter. I'll press the button, the igniter will be going off, kick on the fuel, should light up. All right. In case you um, run into a situation where you have to reach far in and put these little screws in, they don't fit. Trapping them in a little piece of paper usually works. So much easier. Just put a little piece of paper on there. It's kind of an old trick. Holds it. Ta da! Okay, so here we go. Uh, tied all the the hots, neutrals. Ground goes down to the frame. Now it's just a matter of putting it back in these holes that I drilled right in here and test fire this baby. So hopefully I did everything right. And if not, I'll just blow a breaker. <laughs> Probably not. Should be fine. All right.
All right, so we got it all put back together. I cleaned up the little mess here. There was a leaking fuel, I guess, for well, the hoses or so. And so now, it's uh, time to give it a shot. It's a pretty simple process, from what I understand. Fan on, igniter. That's it. get any easier than that so I uh, I hope you guys enjoy it it's a pretty simple fix and I know it's not in a good condition and that it could cause troubles I guess if they're not careful so I, mean, I just have to be aware of that and at least I got it working because it went from not working to working so that's good we got some cold weather coming up I think it's gonna be in the upper 20s Hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.